Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on differential equations. In this lesson, we will compare two most important types of differential equation, which is the ordinary differential equation, ordinary, that is the ODE, then we have the partial differential equation. So what do we mean by ordinary differential equation and what do we mean by partial differential equation? Now let's take them one by one. Let's consider ordinary. So for ordinary differential equation, the most important thing to take note of is that it contains only one independent variable or it contains a single independent variable, a single independent variable. What do I mean by independent variable? Given any equation y is equal to 2x, y here is called the dependent variable, dependent, while the x here is called independent. Take note that the value of x here gives the value of y. So when x is 0, y will be equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, y will be 2, telling us that y depends on the value of y of y depends on the value of x so until x has got a value y doesn't have a value so for every ordinary differential equation you are to see only one independent variable that makes it ordinary a typical example dy over dx is equal to 3y this is a very simple differential equation and this is an ordinary differential equation because we can only see a single independent variable x here. So if I give you the y over the t, the independent variable is the t you see here, while the y here is a dependent variable. So as I said, the main thing to take notes for every ordinary differential equation is the independent variable, which is always the denominator you see for your derivative so for every derivative the denominator function you see here which is t sometimes x depending on the equation given is your independent variable and it should be of only one type now let's consider partial differential equation a partial differential equation so let's say pds right pds now what do you mean by pd Whenever we say a partial differential equation, all that we are trying to say is PD involves derivative with respect to multiple independent variables. So as opposed to ordinary, this has multiple independent variables. Multiple independent variables. So let's see a typical example. For a partial differential equation, you can have something like d squared y over the x squared plus d squared u over the y squared plus y is equal to du over dt. Now let's see such an equation. Partial differential equation, as it says, contains multiple independent variables. Why? You can see that in this PD, you can see one independent variable as x, another as y, another as t, right? So looking at these different and more than one independent variable, you will classify this type of differential equation as partial differential equation. Now, ordinary differential equation is used to model simple systems such as population growth, we can have decay, the decay formula. So as one variable changes with respect to only one variable, that is when you consider ordinary differential equation. But for partial differential equation, we, we analyze change of a particular function with respect to different variables or changes of different variables with respect to also different variables, especially in heat transfer, heat transfer. So these are the two different common types of differential equation you meet ordinary and partial so in summary 
Ordinary differential equation deals with only single independent variable, whilst partial deals with more than one independent variable. Take note of the independence. And partial is used to model complex systems, whilst ordinary is used to model simple systems. And for undergrad studies, ordinary differential equation is the focus, not partial. Thank you. This is all I have for you in this lesson. See you in a subsequent lesson.